In this video, we will discuss some practical ways to keep regular communication and a strong partnership with parents. While some teachers may only need this advice during the forced school closures, many of the considerations and suggestions are always relevant in linguistically diverse schools. Partnering with families is critical and even more so for families of English language learners who need to engage with their children's learning in another language. During a prolonged period of distance learning, teachers and families are juggling multiple concerns, so it is essential to establish good communication channels. Gather information about all the languages spoken in the homes of your pupils. Knowing the children's nationality is not sufficient as it does not necessarily tell you whether they've acquired two or more languages and what language they're more comfortable in. If you're contacting a parent with limited language skills, it is a good idea to simplify the message and use plain English. Use short and clear sentences, avoid jargon and use terminology consistently. The same applies to audio and video messages. Don't rush, speak clearly, leaving pauses between sentences. You can provide both written and spoken messages so that parents can use their own strategies to understand what you want to say. For communication to be effective, it is necessary to consider the social and cultural context of children and their families. Both the teacher and the parents need to clarify how they wish to be contacted. From old-fashioned letters to video messages, now there are so many ways to get in touch, but there is no right way. Find out what works for your school and for the families that are harder to reach. Some families may need updates about school in a language other than English. It is good practice to offer every family a list of key messages about school routines and expectations in a language they can understand. Sometimes it is important to rely less on written communication, which assumes families can read, and use more personal or visual methods of communication. Audio and video messages add a personal touch to distance learning. If you have access to an interpreter or a bilingual homeschool liaison, you can record messages in the family's language. If you don't have access to human resources, there are many apps out there that translate and transcribe your audio message in hundreds of languages. And you can use these apps also to learn a few nice phrases. Parents can also use the app to translate their message instantly into English and send it to you. If you're making videos, think about putting them on a platform that automatically generates captions. Google Meet also offers automatic captions. You will see how delighted families and children will be when they see that you're making an effort to speak their language. Once you've established how to best communicate with families, you can explain your plan for distance learning. Be mindful of the fact that every culture will have a different view of what the role of the teacher and the family might be in these circumstances. Some families will have concerns about their child missing out on school and not using English enough. Some may feel unprepared to support their children in the distance learning because of the language barriers and sometimes because of low self-esteem. Your message should be clear and simple. Explain what your expectations are and stress the importance of family learning. These are some key messages. Migrant parents may feel conscious about their language skills, so encourage them to use their mother tongue. Remind parents about the daily routines that involve literacy and numeracy, like baking, writing a recipe or a shopping list, reading to a sibling, or counting how many shapes they can see on their walk to the park. Reassure parents by telling them that much of what they learn in the home language will be then transferred to English. Value and praise the work children do in their mother tongue as much as you value the work in English. While this is a steep learning curve for teachers and families alike, be reassured that this experience will be very useful to implement some good strategies that you will continue to use in the years to come.